Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got our Virus Metal Greymon mat, Hackmon, and the Apple Drive Duo helping us out. Uh, before I go any further, I want to say thank you to everyone. We just passed the 100 subscriber mark, which is, this is what I was planning that was a little special. And we're going back to the roots of the channel. I created this channel initially to catalog uh, all the QR codes I got on Applemon chips because when I initially filmed it, there wasn't any place to just go and see them. And still now, like, I just did a quick search on uh, the internet to see, like, where I could find them. One of my videos was the very first thing that popped up. And then after that, uh, there was, like, some others. But then, like, directly after that, it was just people looking for the chip QR codes. So, what I did was, way long ago, I purchased this in the mail and this should be some of the volume one chips so i figure let's do another opening let's let's get some more qr codes uh so that if people need them there's a place to get these uh from because the game i really enjoyed playing it uh back when it came out uh, i got it in Japan and sure it had some downsides to it but I enjoyed it a lot but it's so much better if you have the QR codes because without them you are pretty much using a gotcha system in game and so it is just blind luck uh, if you actually have the QR codes you can scan them with the DS to get them, pull it up, uh, and that way you know what you've gotten. I mean, even back in the day, if you had bought these, like, they've got other playability with the uh, roleplay toys, which is probably what you were buying them for. Having the game mess around with them was just an added bonus. And to me, like... To really play the game, to get the most out of it, you need the QR codes. So, like I said, I bought this a while ago. With the intention of doing it when we got 100 subscribers. We got 100. So I figure... We got to the point, we're going to open them. See if I can open this package. Let's try to do it all nice-like. But apparently that's not the way I'm supposed to do it. There's the outer package. This is the inner package. And honestly, these chips are pretty hard to find now. Like you, there's one of the reasons why I didn't do this earlier is because finding the second set of chips was pretty much impossible. Uh, like they came out, I'm. I started collecting them around the third box, and I couldn't find any of the second boxes, so I'm like, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, here we go. Oh, very tiny box. Very tiny box. I don't know how many are supposed to be in here, but we'll do a count. And I'm probably going to split this up at least into two parts, maybe three. We'll see. But that was a very big box for this small, tiny box. The inside. And it's still got dented. Womp womp. Got some damage there, but because we're opening it up, I'm not worried too much about it. But yeah, there we go. That is... That's the box. So much tinier. The other ones, if I remember, they were much longer than this. So I have to imagine that this is probably... Maybe a half set or something? That's... That's like telling you the roleplay side. That's telling you if you have the game, you could use it there. Uh, again, I got the game... 
like, it was already probably an old game, because I think I got it for, what was it, like, a, a thousand yen, something like that? Like, it came out to be ten dollars. Oh, they are all just stacked very oddly in here. Let's see, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10. We got 12 in here. So, it's my understanding that there is 28 chips in this set. So we're not going to get them all. That's not an option uh, here. There, there's no way that we could do it with just one box. And I'm not going to go out and buy another box. I say that now. I might. I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, let's, let's open a couple of these and... Uh, We'll get right into it and see what we got. I always go from the back. I like going from the back. We're going to go from the back. We're going to start from the back. We'll see how long this takes. Because I don't want to make the videos too short. Piece of paper. Yep, again, telling you how to connect it up with the DS. Uh, telling you the other roleplay devices. Obviously, it doesn't show the Duo because that wasn't out yet. And then, here's a two pack. And we got uh, Shotmon and Kalmon. Pretty cool. I think I have that one already. I'm not sure, but I'm fairly certain we don't have Shotmon. So that's cool. Next one. Got them opening up just like I would cards, like flipping them over. We got Mailmon and we got. Is that Gossipmon? I can't remember that one's name off the top of my head. Next up, ooh, and we got one of the seven codes. That's neat. And we got Weathermon. And that's the Mailmon seven code. That's neat. I am going to show off all the QR codes uh, in just a minute. So here's fourth. I'm not too concerned about getting the seven codes, because it'd be super hard. Uh, that's Messengermon and Dressmon, I think? Maybe? I can't remember. That might be Dressmon. Yeah, we're going to do two videos. I'll do six and six. Yeah, we're gonna do six. We're gonna do two videos. We're gonna split it up into two, just because I don't want the videos to go on too long, but I also don't want them to be too short. Oh, we got Messengermon Virus, and we got uh, Purimon. And the final one we're gonna open up this time around. And we got uh, Skoshimon, I think that one is. This one's like Viewmon, I want to say. Can't remember. Anyways, let's get these guys out of here. It's This is very weird to open now, because it's been forever since I opened up the other ones. But this set pretty much has... Rookies and Champions, whereas the other sets, like, went all the way up into Ultimates, and then finally Megas. And it's very weird opening a set that you know that there's going to be, like, only Rookies. Very weird. It makes the best things in there the seven codes. 
which again, I'm not, I don't think I want to go after the seven codes because again, trying to find the ones from the second volume, it's super hard. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Like I've actually purchased some chips second hand now. And I remember doing it way back, and I think some of them cost me like $3 back then. And now I'm looking at them, and they're going for like $10, $20 a piece. Um, which is another reason why I'm trying to, why well, I got some more. Just to kind of get those, um, gosh, what's the word, uh, cataloged, and... Because, again, that is a lot. To pay $20 for just one of these, I find that crazy. I, If it wasn't for my, like, completionist kind of mindset, there'd be no reason to do it. I would not, I would not suggest anyone try and do it. Uh, I'm just organizing them off to the side real quick. Just so I can give them in numeric order. All right. So first up, we have Kalman. There's his QR code. I also loved these a lot because like, this one you can see that there's some extra design there and something in that tells the dual drive, which chip it is. And for me, that's almost magic. We got the normal Mailmon. And there's his QR code. And they're all going to be low on stars because these are all uh, very low rookies. Then we got the 7 code. Which again, meh. Not too concerned about it. Because trying to get the seven codes, like I said, it's it's gonna be crazy. Here we have uh Messi Messagemon. Messagemon. There's his QR code. And then we got virus messengermon. And I like these ones a lot. Uh, as I show you his QR code, because in the game, it made them kind of grayscale. And if you fuse them into a higher form, the higher form was also grayscale. Uh, so you get some really neat, like, Warudamon in gray. Which, Warudamon is one of my favorites. So I definitely enjoyed her. Oh, we got Weathermon with his code. So I think we've only pulled one champion. Like I said, this set has a lot of rookies. I like Peori because he's got like a knife and a fork on his arms. That's pretty neat. Just that little extra design. And there's Viewmon. Whoop. You got Dressmon. Shotmon. Which he reminds me of, um... Barrel Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! Just by his looks. Like he's very much got the guns on the side. Gun in the center. Reminds me of that a lot. He also has guns for feet. So maybe not quite so much. And then we got Skoshimon. Which he's our champion. And I really love the hodgepodge of the back. It says, uh... What level they are in the corner. 
Agiki. Oh, it doesn't even have it on this one. All right, so I guess they only show it on the ones that are higher. That's neat. Anywho, there's the first six packs. Uh, like I said, we're going to do the second half because this is already 15 minutes long. I don't like going over, and I feel like we'll go way over if I do this one. So if you enjoyed this video, if you like the Atmon videos, I still have possibly one or two more that I could do. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you're tired of this, say so. Like, like I said, I've only got like two videos I could do of this. And I'll skip them if you don't want to see them. If you leave a comment, let me know that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a good old thumbs up. Uh, give it a thumbs up for the fact that we reached 100 subscribers. Yeah. Um, if you haven't, subscribe. I could always use more subscribers. If, if we reach another milestone, I might uh, find something else to pick up to celebrate it. Uh, and until then, I will see you next time.